My goodness, this was such a long sequence of cutscenes, I feel like. Nice, we escaped with our lives. Yeah, we were in rough waters there for a minute. But actually, we never found out what Bud is really hiding from us. You still don't know, Geo? No? Boy, Geo. It's quite amazing that a person as simple as you has come this far in the world. I don't know how else to say it. Thanks, but you don't have... He's not complimenting you, kid. Aha, I figured it out! Bud has been acquiring votes for Prez secretly behind our backs. You think? Acquiring votes? I, I doubt this. Definitely. You see, Bud didn't forget the fact that tomorrow is election day, and he realized that we had both forgotten about it. Gulp. There's no doubt that Bud has been doing campaign runs all by himself. You think? Okay, Zack is a literal moron, by the way. We have been completely hoodwinked, Geo. Prez probably knows what he's been up to. Prez is gonna appreciate him more than us. However, we're still in the game. Let's give it our best shot. Yeah, sounds good. I'm not so sure if that's the true story with Bud. But either way, we better do a good job on the campaign run. All right, let's do this. Let's talk to the students and teachers that are still at school. Why would you talk to the teachers? We'll cover more ground if we split up, leave the students to me, and you take care of the teachers. What do you mean, teachers? Uh, what? Roger. For crying out loud, you guys sure are feeling energetic even after everything we've been through lately. I guess that's what makes you guys so fun. All right, well, you know, that was an event that we lived through. What's this mail about? What you got for me? Spike a mall? This is a message from Spike a mall. The candy shop is now open. Okay. Hey, Geo, I've got some good news. Do you know that some battle cards have inherent wind properties? The windy attack, for example, has a very interesting feature. It can strip away barriers, auras, etc. in one shot, regardless of damage. There are other cards out there with wind properties, so keep your eyes peeled for them. Talk to you later. Hey, yeah, I use windy attack. That's fun. No, not the desk. I'm trying to talk to Luna. Be sure to make the rounds and greet everyone for me, Geo. I'll be right here keeping an eye on you. Hello there. You have a help thing. Okay, so I was actually thinking about this in between the stream and last one. We have not been doing the, like, mini quests with, like, people having the help symbol on them at all. I think it's a little annoying in 3 compared to 4. Or not 4, compared to 2. Sorry, we never got a 4, unfortunately. But in 2, you put on your glasses and people will have, like, a little icon above their head that says if they're, uh... If they need help or not, their icon will be like a pinkish red instead of blue. For everyone else, you have to like actually talk to them to see if they have the help symbol or not. But I want to do the help stuff in the game, so we should start doing those. I'm looking for people that want to trade Sonya cards. Okay, I can do that. I think Sonya cards are way cooler. Uh, something wrong? Yes, in fact there is. I'm a huge, huge Sonya fan. Have you ever heard of Sonya cards? I've been collecting them since Sonya first hit it big. But I've never been able to get my hands on the Little Devil Sonya card. Oh no. I wish there was someone who would trade one to me for my Sonya Wink card. I'll help you. If you like, I'd go find someone who wants to trade Sonya cards with you. Really? That would be so great. I'll let you take the Sonya Wink card with you. Okay, Sonya card 36. I think there are other Sonya card fans at school. Got it. Big, big, big fan of Sonya Strum. Do you know about her trading cards? I've been collecting them since she's debuted. There's just one I can't get my hands on no matter how hard. It's called Sonya Little Devil. I wonder if there's anyone out there who would want to trade that for the Sonya Wink card. Actually, my friend in the class next door is also running for student body president. It's such a hard choice. Of course, I'm going to support Luna. Okay, good for you. So we got to find someone that'll trade this card with us. I made a really great quiz. You made a quiz. That sounds fun. The teacher? I think he went to the science club room. Okay. Are you a Sonya fan or maybe a Belle fan? I'm like such a huge fan of Belle. Good for you. Can I go in this classroom? I can't. All right. Bum, bum. Doop, 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 doop. Why is there still a rocket in here? What's up, Geo? Are you here to see those science club guys? They're all out working on some experiment. They should be back pretty soon. What? You came to see me? Oh, I see. You're just making the rounds and greeting everyone, right? Geo, you sure got a lot of spunk. You're in that Luna for Prez group, aren't you? Heard a lot about you guys and the way you've been helping students in need all over the school. Impressive, I must say. When I when you see Luna Platts, tell her I hope she wins. See you around, GL. Great, I think that went well. But the teacher doesn't vote. Why do you care? Deadwall, thank you for summoning Tier 1 for 12 months on an 8-month streak. That's a full year subbed. Greatly appreciated, brother. Thank you so much for the support, man. Thank you, thank you. Just got this dang Sonya card. Where could it have gone? Where could it have gone, bro? Some of these other people, like the quiz chick and then this guy, I bet they also have help things for us to do, but we have to finish the one we're on first. Bum, 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 bum. 
I'm on the first floor. Looks like most of the students have gone home for the day. I'm in charge of watering the plants. I just so, it just so happens I also got stuck being in charge of cleaning the classroom too. That's why I'm here late today. I mean, that sucks, I guess. Hey, is that the Sonia card? Is that Sonia card a Sonia Wink card? I've been looking for that for a long time. Would you trade it to me for my tennis outfit Sonia card? Ah, uh, what should I do? Maybe if you trade around with a bunch of people, you'll eventually get the one you want. Good point, I'll do it. We got the tennis outfit Sonia. We could just go hang out with Sonia. This is so awesome. Did you say you don't know any other Sonia card traders? Why don't you check Echo Ridge? Okay, so now we have to look around town. Woo! There's nothing like a tall... A tall, ice-cold glass of milk? A tall, ice-cold glass of milk after work. I don't know why it was so weird to me. Can I help you? Ah, I see you're making the rounds to greet people in preparation for tomorrow's election, and you're supporting Luna Platts. Yes, I'm so glad they found her unharmed. For a while there, she had me really worried. How is she? Is she doing all right? I see. She's doing almost too well, huh? Good, good. I'm glad to hear that. I'll be rooting for a success at tomorrow's election. Please pass that on to Luna for me. Haha. Huh? Great. I think that went well. Sure did. It's the school store. Mega Snacks. Hello there. I'm sorry we're sold out. Man in white with long hair bought them all. Bum, bum, bum. All right, so we got to look around Echo Ridge to trade this tennis outfit, Sonia. You want to hear some news? Something attacked Waza, yada, yada. This should have been the right number. That's another person who probably needs our help. Deadball, thank you for gifting 10 tier one subs to the channel. That's 153 total gift subs. That is awesome, man. Thank you so much. Greatly appreciate it. Everyone enjoy your gift subs. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Dang, this dude is strong. Isn't it about time you did your homework? No, I can't stop until I beat this guy. Uh, but I'm not very good at battling. Please don't talk to me right now. I'm in the middle of a battle. Yes, an opening. Eat this killer bomb. Is that all you got? Here's some freeze knuckle. Ah. Wait a minute. Is that the tennis outfit Sonya card? She's so cute in it. Sonya's just the greatest, isn't she? Will you trade it to me for this Sonya the Acrobat card? Sure. This is really awesome of you. Thanks. You want to know where other card fans are? Sorry, I don't know of any close by. All right, that doesn't help at all. Luna, she says that she doesn't remember anything about the time she was missing. Isn't that weird? It's like a mystery. What do I need to do? I need to go back to the school. Let's talk to the teachers around school and help Luna out. Hey, hold up a second, though. If you don't know any card traders around here, then I bet I can find them at Aloha. Ha. Gotta find someone that'll trade me this dang acrobat card for something else. Honestly, I think the tennis outfit card is probably better than the acrobat card. We shouldn't have made that trade. Winking Sonia was worth the tennis Sonia for sure. Tennis Sonia for, uh, for whatever the other one was called. I'm not so sure about that one. It sends chills down my spine to think that that girl's disappearance had something to do with the ship. Yada yada. It's great they found the girl who went missing. I just want someone who talks about Sonia cards. Starting to look after the stand, yada yada. Nope. Donna, you never know when it's gonna be a random adult either, so we gotta like talk to everyone. Bum bum, bum no. They found the girl who went missing, hooray. Maybe I went a little too far by going straight to Aloha. Huh? This is the environmental system. Wow, not bad. Poke poke. Don't touch that. You wanna make an incident? Dumb idiot, stupid kid. We can also probably uh, find Dark Phantom and Queen Virgo's version twos, now that I think about it. I don't know where exactly they would be. Queen Virgo's is probably over near Waza. Said on the news, Waza was attacked, yada yada. I don't know where Dark Phantoms would be, though. I love how you can't be in this area without being in your swimming trunks for some reason. Darling, your poems are so romantic. Look, honey, a mangrove. A forest of green at the water's edge. How divine. No one down here. All right, yeah, I think I made a mistake in coming straight to Aloha. <laughs> Whoever wants to trade this card with me is probably at Spica Mall then? It's got to be the studios or the mall, one or the other. Can I even go back to Waza right now? I can't using the uh, Wave Rider. I just go to the studios. I meant to go to the mall. Oh, well. I feel like it's going to be the mall because we probably could have done this side quest way earlier in the game, like maybe before we even got WBG Studios unlocked. So yeah, take me to the mall, actually. To the mall, away! 
Does anyone in chat remember? Did I do all the side quests in my uh, Star Force 2 playthrough? I feel like I did, didn't I? We haven't been at this mall in ages. There's not like a big dungeon here or anything. Hey you, is that card in your hand of Sonya the Acrobat? I'm a genius. That's pretty rare and hard to find, if you don't mind. Can I trade this little devil Sonya for it? That's the card I need, I'll definitely trade. I'm a gamer. Let's go take this card to its new owner. Fine. Ended up wasting some time in... Ended up wasting some time in, uh... In Aloha Ha there that we didn't have to, but oh well. It's fine. Bum, bum, bada, bum. Do, 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 do. So I need to talk to some more teachers. What teacher do I still need to speak with? Oh, this guy's here now. He wasn't here a second ago. He's probably the last one I need to talk to. Let's turn in this request first. Awesome, I've been looking for a little Devil Sonia card forever. Sweet, I finally completed my set. Thank you, would you mind being my brother? I'd love to. Oh, I'm brothers with Don McCard now. Thanks for the 40 link power. That is not what I expected to happen out of that. Wow. Now, wait a minute. Where's that kid who said she had a quiz? Yeah, you have a help thing too. Yeah, I want to do your quiz. I love quizzes. I'm looking for people who want to take my quiz. I'll take your quiz. Ha, huh, my quiz is really hard. I'll take it. Get ready for question number one. Geroid ran the 400 meter relay for his track team. Is this a Yu-Gi-Oh card? He ran his hardest and was able to squeeze past the person in second place. What place did Geroid finish in? Please answer with a number. What if he if he got past second place, then that means he's in first. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. What? Ran the 400 meter relay for his track team. Ran his hardest, was able to squeeze past the person in second place. Does this have something to do with it being a relay race? I don't know how relay races work. What does this mean? If he got past second place, does that not mean he's in first place? Like... Third place. At what? At, is he still in second? Uh, that was stupid. That's correct. When the person in third place passes the person in second, he is now in second. Okay, I understand. I understand. This is a. I. I get it. I get it. The next question will be much harder. Here we go. Question two. A hot dog eating contest was held with ten people. Then finish the contest six from the bottom. The problem there, chat, by the way, is that I was thinking that the race was already done, is why I got confused. So in my mind, I was like, oh, well, if he beat second place, then that means he's in first place because he beat second. But it wasn't that he beat second. It was that the race was underway and then he passed second, which means there's still someone ahead of him who is in first. I think the game confused me by saying he completed a 400 race and then saying he passed second, I think is how they worded it. And so I was like, okay, the race is over and he beat second. That must mean he's first. Ben finished the contest six from the bottom. What place did Ben finish in? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, I hate this quiz. This is not, this is not the normal kind of quiz you have. This is like some kind of like wording, like oh, I'm gonna trick you quiz. Not like a, hey, do you know how much damage this card does? Or what's the name of this boss or something like that. This is not the kind of quiz I like. I already forgot the question. Five. That's correct. 10 minus six equals four. Yeah. Now for the final and toughest question. What? <laughs> this quiz is awful. A marathon with 10 people was held on a track around a playing field. This is the kind of question they give you for like fourth grade grammar or something in Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? And I hate it. A marathon with 10 people was held on a track around a playing field. A marathon with 10 people was held on a track around a playing field. I have to like remember this. Marathon. 10 people held on a track around a playing field. Greg just managed to pass the person in last place right before the finish line. 
Greg was the only person to pass the runner in last place. What place did Greg finish in? Okay, so if there were 10 people and Greg passed the person in last and that was the only person he passed, then he must be ninth place, ninth out of 10. I'm sorry, okay, I hate this quiz. My brain, like, I, I don't understand. I hate not being able to see the question while I'm answering, because I think that's the problem, is that I have to read it and then it's like, give me the answer. And I'm like, well, wait a minute, what did it say? Because I need to like see the question in front of me to be able to do this. If I could see the question in front of me, I could figure it out. See, this is what they did here. They say he ran the 400 relay. To me, that means that the race is over. So when they then say he beat second place, like he got past second, to me, that means he's in first. Okay, you're in second. And I don't even remember what this one was, but I said five and it was right. Okay, what is this last one? Now for the final and toughest question. Marathon, 10 people. I'm like, wait a minute, hold up. I'm opening up a Word document. I literally, like, I cannot... My brain cannot do a question like this without seeing the question in front of me. A marathon with 10 people was held on a track around a playing field. Next sentence. Greg just managed to pass the person, by the way, I do want to reiterate, I'm not looking at chat because if people in chat are probably saying the answer or something. I want to reiterate, I hate questions like this. Like I am just, they make me feel dumb, first of all, because I'm just not good at questions like this. This is not the kind of question that I'm good at. Greg just managed to pass the person in last place right before the finish line. Greg was the only person to pass the runner in last place. What place did Greg finish in? Okay. A marathon with 10 people on a track around a playing field. Greg just managed to pass the person in last place right before the finish line. Greg was the only person to pass the runner in last place. Greg was the only person to pass the runner in last place. Why does that matter? Greg just managed to pass the person in last place right before the finish line. Greg was the only person to pass the runner in last place. What? Is it, is it saying he's in first place because none of the other runners passed the person who was in last? Is this not a paradox? Like, how does that make any sense? How can he be the only person to pass the person in last place, but then everyone else is behind him? If everyone else is behind the person in last place, then that person is not in last place anymore. I don't, I do not understand this. Is it first? That's stupid. That is a paradox. That does not make logical sense. He lapped him? Because it's on a track? Because the track is a circle? They didn't say that there were laps though. A marathon with 10 people was held on a track around a playing field. They didn't say that there were laps. Why are there laps? You're making an assumption that they, that they did not tell you. They did not say that there were laps. I was under the impression usually marathons are not laps, right? Normally a marathon, you go from point A to point B. You don't normally do laps. He said around a playing field, so it's a circle. Okay, why is there more than one lap though? At what point were you told there were two laps around the circle? All they said is that they did a marathon around the field. That means one rotation, one circle. They never said that there was a second lap. Why would I assume that there is a second lap? Why would you, like, that's not part of the question. Why would you just assume that? That's stupid, that's a bad question. That's a horrible question. 
They literally just omitted information, and then if you don't get it right, they'll be like, ah, nope, you're wrong, because you didn't assume that there were two laps for no reason. That's stupid. That's not a good question. A marathon could go on for several laps, and it could also not. Do you know, you don't understand my point. You don't get what I'm saying. If they do not tell you that there are laps, why would you assume that there are laps? A marathon could go on forever. It might never end. They might run until they die. I can just assume whatever I want, apparently, if it gets me to the answer you want. That's stupid. Bad question. The first person is capable- Shut up, you're an idiot. Your quiz is bad and you're a fool. I wish I wasn't your brother. I hope you die. I hope you walk in front of a car. Hello, Mr. Shepard. Tomorrow is election day. Please vote for Prez. Oh, Geo, you couldn't have come at a better time. Don't get angry. It scares me. Uh, close the stream, brother. <laughs> also, like, come on. <laughs> it's fun. Right now, our new gardener is on the roof. Apparently, he's having a problem with something. Could you go and find out what's wrong? I'm sure you can lend him a helping hand. The new gardener on the roof? Leave it to me. Thank you for going to see what he needs. I still have this word doc open. Get this word doc out of here. Dude, that was the worst quiz in the history of time. Those questions were trash. Don't mention it. It's the duty of Team Luna for Prez to help people in need. Aren't you getting a little overly gung-ho there, kid? Not at all. This is how I make a good impression. Team Luna for Prez isn't Luna Platts the leader of that team? And you guys help people in need, huh? Okay, if you say so. That is very kind of you. Anyways, you have my full support, GL. Thank you very much, Mr. Shepper. I'm on my way to the roof. Thanks. That guy's easy to get along with. I think it's just the way I managed to connect with him. I got the touch. Yeah, I guess if you want to keep telling yourself that. The amount of laps isn't important. The fact he lapped the person in last is. But no, you don't understand, chat. You do not understand. If there's only one lap, he will never lap the person. He will end the race before catching up to last place because he'll end, he'll be done. The only way that question makes sense is if there's at least two laps. But if the question does not tell you that there are laps, why would you assume that there are multiple laps? It's a bad question. It is a bad question because it just makes up info that is like, oh, haha, you're wrong unless you assume something that I didn't tell you. That makes it a bad question. Stop talking about that stupid question. How about you let me talk about what I want to in my streams, and if you don't like it, you can leave the stream. <laughs> We're having a discussion, man. You don't have to partake if you don't want to, but don't tell me what to talk about in my streams. That's like incredibly rude. <laughs> 